Okay, so here's, a, here's an example of why you would use the next method that I show you. I've seen this too often. Somebody will carve a groove into something and then they'll take and they'll want to actually paint on the inside of here. So they'll sit here forever trying to paint on the inside like this, right? Okay, so let's not do that because that's stupid. It's best to have something that you would have to... Um, mask that region off and just so happens I have this so if I have this and I mask by it mask by intensity don't worry I'm going to show you how to actually make it here in a second inverse it turn it off and then maybe even sharpen it. Sharpen it a couple times. And then I could take it and go in here, color, fill object black, and voila, it's in that crack only. And I can clear everything out. That is the same philosophy as I want to show you. That will save you so much time when doing like little things on armor, anything for that matter. So First off, you have to learn how to mask in order to pull this off. Turning everything off and starting over. So I'll be use, using this same little uh, squircle thing. Okay, first off, to mask any one object, hold control. And let's pretend that I, wa I want to make uh, yeah, just a little shape in here. Okay, which is really lame, right? Okay, so this will give me the opportunity to show you clear and show you the right way to do this. Drag rectangle. Choose whatever alpha you want. Let's say this. I have the flatten brush. Much better. Don't forget, you can sharpen mask. And it'll make an absolute, right off the bat, crystal clear mask around that area. Nice. Okay, so now that it, that's masked off, I can inverse that. And let's say I take and inflate this by, like, maybe... How about deflate it? Yeah, deflating would be better. Okay, just slightly. Nice. Okay, let's clear that mask. Look at that. Isn't that nice right there? Now, there's where I made the mistake. I cleared the mask. Before I clear the mask, wouldn't it have been better if I went in here? Now, I hit undo, and you don't see anything, but that mask is still there. That's one of the things about ZBrush. When you are in mask mode and you undo something, um like clearing a mask, you'll find out that it's still there, see? So no matter if I go over there, colorize on the top of it, whatnot, it'll still be there. Nice. So colorize in that region using just a standard brush, and you have this. This thing already has UVs. So what I want to do is make a new texture. Twenty forty eight by twenty forty eight will allow me to do new from poly paint. So whenever I need it masked back on, all I do is have to go texture on, and then I can mask by intensity. This will mask it by the black and white values. So anything in here can be ran the same philosophy. Let's take, for example, I want to do something like this on the outside, okay? Uh, let's turn the texture off so you can see what I'm doing. And let's hold control. And this time, I'm going to be very inventive about what I use the mask for. So I'm not going to use the drag rack. I'm going to use dots. And I'm going to take this off, and it makes one of these. Okay, and if I go control and alt... 
it will get rid of that. So that will make it. Control and Alt will take it away. And if you mess up, undo. Okay, very cool. Now if I inverse those, let's say I skip a step, I'll go deflate just a little bit. So with that type of method right there, I don't need to sharpen it as much, but anytime you use an alpha, I would highly suggest sharpening it. And then I can go in here, color fill object with uh, the texture on. And this is set to black, this one RGB. So it won't let me fill the object because this texture is on. There we go. Perfect. I'll update that. And as I go along, I have this nice updated thing that I can keep switching on and off in case I want to change my mind about something further down the road. All right, so that is masking and how to mask and colorize and get some nice straight lines in on the mix.